Fenty on the face, Fenty on the skin, Fenty in the hair. It's a good Fenty day. Hey visionaries, it's A back on your screen with another review. Today I'm excited to share with you my thoughts of the Fenty Hair, the Home Curl, Curl Defining Cream. When this finally dropped here in the six, I know we're a little slow to get products. I ran, I didn't walk, I ran like a crazy person to my local Sephora to snatch this up. There was only two left on display and I'm so excited to share today how this has been working for me. This is not a first impression review if you know how I do I'm a little rough with my reviews I'm gonna let you know the good the bad and the ugly of using this for more than a month to start this product is $38 so it's expensive and it's only 11 and a half ounces which is a good amount but it's not cheap and I'm gonna let you know just off the top I rate this a four out of five I took it down a notch because of the consistency or more importantly the texture wow I've never started off with the ugly first but here goes the texture of this is so weird to me. This product is like sorcery because the results are so good as you can see. This is day four hair. When could I ever? I would have to start from ground zero with some other products like my Holy Grail product. It looks best day one, maybe day two, but to not have reapplied this product in four days, unheard of, okay? So it's a love-hate relationship because I feel as much as it does well at the top five things it claims to do, which is frizz reduction, curl definition, add shine, it's supposed to soften the hair while optimizing health. And lastly, I always forget that one. Oh, hydrate and moisturize. I think it does all of that. I wanna see how much it helps with the health of the hair. You know, the stress of heat on the hair. If a product is really working to help the health of your hair is when you do a heat style. But that consistency, it's to the point where it's slimy but sticky. It's so tacky to the point where my fingers are like this every single time I use it. So imagine my hair as I'm trying to separate the strands. Listen, take it from me, don't do what I did today because I lost a lot of hair. Trigger warning, I'm warning you what you're about to see is really nasty. This is how much hair I lost today. That is not okay. So I would not recommend using a brush to brush through to refresh your curls. If you wanna redefine, maybe do a little finger coil here and there. You don't have to add any more product over the week, which is actually really good because a little bit goes a long way. My favorite product is about 10 bucks. If you wanna know, let me know down below. But you have to use a lot more of it to get the same result as this. So it's kind of a trade off. Mind you, as much as I hate how it feels when I'm applying it, once it dries, you can't even tell that it's such a weird vibe because it feels very lightweight. It's not crunchy or crispy like a gel and it's not sticky or slimy like a cream. It's very, 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 very faint. It doesn't transfer to residue on your finger. It's just so nasty while using it. But that was the ugly. What's bad about this product? I would say the price point, it is a little expensive, but again, because it is such a heavy product, you cannot be heavy handed with this. That's also a trade off. You can use a little bit and it goes a long way. In fact, I would say less is more and more is mess. The first couple times I used this, I used way too much. But if you look, for me using this almost, I wanna say almost 15 to 20 times in the last month and a bit, there's still a lot of product. So for 40 bucks, yes, it's expensive, but this is gonna last you a couple of months. So it depends on how often you refresh your curls or what your curl routine is. For the good category, there's a lot good about this product. And before we get to the product inside, let's just talk about the packaging. This is not just the simple, sleek, sophisticated packaging we've come to know and love by Fenty products that you can either have displayed on your shower shelf or tucked away. This top right here is not just tactile for the aesthetics. They did this for the visually impaired community. I finally feel seen. If you're not on the know, I'll let you know that back in 2010, I was diagnosed with Stargus disease. When I created my channel a year after I was diagnosed, I didn't want to think about losing vision. This was my creative outlet where I could just feel regular. Every time I hit record, I didn't have to think about what my future would look like or what this meant for me. I could just share my thoughts on my favorite curl products or products I didn't like with you guys. This is a full circle moment for me because it takes me back, but it also has shown me the journey of authenticity. It's so amazing to see a product that has inclusivity at its core and has considered people who can't see well in its packaging. I hate shopping nowadays. 
If I don't kick my phone out to zoom into every single thing, I don't know what I'm purchasing. And if I have to ask somebody, it's so annoying because they're trying to upsell me in this economy. No, I came here for this one thing, respectfully. So it's almost like this gives me back my autonomy because without having to take the extra step of taking my phone out and zooming in and making sure I see what I'm seeing before I buy something, I just know the bigger one that is in the lighter color with the top like this is what I think I'm buying. I don't even want to tell you how many times I've taken my slip product when I was supposed to take my leave-in conditioner and had to do my whole routine all over again. So this is a product that not only will save you time, but also your damn mind and also money too because you think about it, I've wasted too much products picking up the wrong product before. I know it probably sounds simple or silly to those of you who are sighted, but small things like this make a world of a difference when you can't see well anymore. Now beyond that, pop top. Out of the hundreds of products I've reviewed over the years, I have never seen one with a pop top and that is so smart. Having to do a twist off and then having to close a twist off, like even I got it on my hands. Lot of mercy, help me. It's gonna take forever to wash this off my hand. It's so sticky and slimy, it would be a whole mess. But whereas the pop top, you can just pop lock and drop it. Speaking of dropping, if you happen to be clumsy like me and you take your products with you in the shower, you already know where this story is going. I have wasted one too many products by accidentally knocking it off the ledge and diluting the product. That is not the case with this. At least your products are protected. And like I said, for over $40 after tax, I'm using every drop, dollop, and dab of this. <laughs> when you first pop the top, you're gonna get the most wonderful whiff of tropical oasis. I don't know exactly what it is. I know mango butter is one of the key ingredients, which by the way, they don't have a list on Sephora or Fenty hair. So when I have some time, I'll zoom in and do a little review and then share it with you in the comment section or the description box below. I like that there's also pictures there. So no matter what language you speak, if you can see well, you can see how to use this product, but it's pretty much like any curl product. You're gonna separate and section your hair, apply it, and then you can allow it to air dry or you can scrunch it up with a diffuser. Besides the consistency, what's really good about this is that it's very thick and very moisturizing. I wanna take this on a trip as we're entering fall and winter over here. There's nothing really for my hair to slurp up from the environment. And with mango as a humectant, that's generally what it does. And it usually gives me my desired preferred curl, which is a floofy curl. I know that's not a real word, but I prefer my curls to be floofy, full and fluffy. Whereas these are more separated and defined, which is good. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my hair lately. And this is the only product I've really been using lately. So, it's a look, but it's not necessarily my vibe. I've been trying to get a floofy curl, but this is not giving me that. And I think it has something to do with the time of year, but I won't know for sure until I travel somewhere. You can see that it's defined my ringlets, but it hasn't really floofed up, which it's not really allowing my curls to get a little more poofy, which I actually like. It's kind of freezing them in time as they were in their wet state, which for some people will absolutely love it. It's good for versatility. I mean, if you want to, you scrunch it up either with your hands as you air dry it or with a diffuser. It's not too bad with shrinkage because that's where my hair goes when I pull it down. So you have the opportunity to also stretch your curls if that's what you're looking for. I haven't used it as a flexi rod set yet. So if you wanna see that, let me know. As I mentioned before, I can't really speak too much to the actual ingredients, but one of the key things they talked about in this is Replenicore 5, which is a complex they trademarked. That is supposed to help with the health of the hair. I can't really say much about that because I won't know until I do the stress test with the heat style, but I will keep you posted. So far, my hair does feel really soft, hydrated, and moisturized, and it is super, super shiny. I usually have to do a curl cocktail to achieve this kind of look. I actually prefer my little curly cocktails, but for those of you who like a one-stop shop, just one product that does it all, this does it pretty well. In fact, I think this would be a perfect on the go or in a rush type of product to grab, but this wouldn't be my go-to every single day because of how much it stays in the hair and how it feels in my hands when I'm using it. For the last month I've been sitting here with this love-hate relationship with this product because I love how my hair looks, but I hate how it feels when I'm using it. And then yesterday when I was reading up on it some more, I realized it's defined as a gel cream or a cream gel, whichever, whatever. As soon as I read that, I'm like, ah, oh, that makes all the sense. I wouldn't have lost half the hair I lost or had half the mess I had when I first started using this product by being too heavy handed. Had I known, I'm more of a cream girl. Mousses are too light, gels are too heavy for my hair texture. So this is teethering that very thin line where I like it because of the cream elements and the gel adds extra hold 
but if it was any more of a gel, no, no, not for me, not the one. Since 2011, I haven't tried something quite like this. This definitely is a standout to me, but it's not perfect necessarily. But if you like it, I love it. Let me know how you use it down below or what your favorite curl product is because I want to get back into these reviews and share more of my thoughts with you. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.